The Asian hornet, or Vespa valentina, is a ferocious predator of honeybees and other beneficial insects. Since 2004, it has made its way from Asia to mainland Europe, where it is currently present in France, Italy, Mallorca, Spain, Portugal, Germany and Belgium. The Asian hornet has spread across France at over 60 kilometres per year and in September 2016 the hornet was confirmed for the first time in the UK. The nest was destroyed but we don't know whether our attempts to eradicate the hornet were completely successful. So it's vitally important that all beekeepers monitor for the presence of the hornet in their own area so that we can do our best to prevent the Asian hornet becoming established as it did in France. In this video we will be showing you how to make an Asian hornet trap, describing what baits to use and where to hang your traps outside. If you have any questions, information will be provided at the end of the video and where you can send your queries to. To start making the trap you will need the following pieces of equipment. First of all you will need a two litre plastic bottle. It's important that this is one with ridges at top and bottom so that the centre section is actually slightly smaller than both the top and bottom sections. You'll also need two lengths of plastic coated wire, one 150 millimetres and one 300 millimetres long. A 100 millimetre approximately square offcut of Roa floor, floor mesh. This is the welded epoxy coated type rather than the loose woven uh, mesh that we use for Varroa floors. It's available by mail order or from some beekeeping suppliers. You will also need a 150 millimetre square offcut of rigid plastic sheet. This is available from DIY stores. You will need also a piece of stiff cardboard from which to cut out a disc which will fit inside the bottom section of the bottle and we'll come to that later. You will need some simple tools, a sharp knife, some scissors, sheet metal cutters or similar, a fine pointed soldering iron or you could use a nail which you hold in pliers and heat the nail in a gas flame. I'm using also uh, some, a stapler, a pair of pliers and a pop rivet gun. So to start making the trap we take our two litre bottle and carefully make an incision with the knife along the upper edge of the seam at the bottom of the bottle. Then using the scissors, cut carefully along that seam to give a nice straight and even cut all the way around. So here we have the bottom section cut out and, and the top section. Next we make a, a similar incision underneath the top ridge and again cut all the way round either with a knife or with the scissors to give a central section which then will appear like this. You have again the bottom section, a central cylinder and the top section. So that's the, the bottle now in three pieces. We next invert the cone into the top, hold the bottleneck centrally, just check both ways at 90 degrees that it's central and then with a fine marker pen mark all the way around the top of the bottle, cut on this line to remove the excess plastic and form a snug fitting cone. This can be held together temporarily with bits of sellotape which actually will hold the cone in quite securely on its own but if you prefer you can also then staple the cone together to make a more permanent fixture. We next need a piece of stiff card to make our circle which fits snugly inside the bottom of the bottle. This can be done either by drawing round the, the, the bottom of the bottle or you could use a, a pair of compasses to, to make the circle. We place the circle over the square of epoxy mesh 
so, so it is central. And then with the cutters, cut into the center from the corners to, to leave about a 12 millimeter tab. When you've gone all the way around, these will be bent up at 90 degrees, snugly against the piece of cardboard. So again, if we go to one that I finished earlier, you can see that is complete. We then turn that mesh over, and again using the cutters, we take the excess mesh off all the way around. Again, to save time, we'll go to one that I've done before. And you'll see here that I've also bent the top edge of the tab over. This finished mesh then sits into the base of the bottle. And then the ends of the tabs are bent over to hold the, the mesh securely into position. At this point, you can take the lid of the bottle off and discard that. Slide the open end of the tube into the base so that it rests against the mesh. We next make two small diametrically opposed holes through both layers of plastic with the fine tipped soldering iron or a hot nail held with pliers about six millimeters from the top of the base section. The seams of the bottle can be used as a guide. The short length of garden wear is pushed through these holes One end bent over at 90 degrees and the other end just a little bit to act as a, as a locking device, holding the, the middle and the lower sections securely together. Make another pair of holes diametrically opposite, about six millimetres from the top of the trap itself. Take the 150 millimeter square section of black plastic, fold this in half, and then we want to make a hole about four centimeters in from each end at the apex. and another hole halfway along the base at each side at about six millimeters up. Feed each end of the 300 millimeter section of wire through the apex. and fold the ends over using the pliers so that they fit securely together. and this forms the hanger for the trap. Bend the ends in, about 12 millimeters approximately.
and then the top is ready to fix onto the body of the trap. And here I'm going to use uh, rivets to do this, but you could use other fixtures such as uh, a small nut and bolt if you wanted to make a, a, a top that was removable. So I'm going to push the rivet through both the top and the bottle itself and then rivet that together. Now your trap is ready to use in the apiary to monitor for Asian hornets. When using this trap design, it is important to remember that it is a monitoring trap and therefore we will need checking regularly. Hang your trap in a sunny and well lit area and try to avoid shaded and dark areas where the hornets are unlikely to forage. Queens that emerge from winter hibernation need energy to start nest building and so sweet bait should be used in the trap until early summer. In France they use a variety of recipes which can be as simple as sweetened apple juice to a concoction of dark beer mixed with strawberry syrup and orange liqueur. Later in summer, when nests are rearing brood, you may want to switch to a protein based bait. You can use prawns or trout, mash it up and dilute it to 25%. In Tetbury we found that this was a great bait to use. However, you may want to change them regularly, say every three days because it can produce a foul smell. With your trap and bait ready, start monitoring in late February or when weather conditions improve and foundress queens, if present, will be expected to emerge from hibernation. Worker hornets will be on the wing throughout the beekeeping season, so monitoring should continue right into the autumn. Remember that this is a monitoring trap and so we'll need checking regularly. We want to avoid trapping our native hornet, Vespa crabro, or other beneficial insects such as the hoverfly. If you believe you have found an Asian hornet in your trap, you may find it useful to bring a freezer bag with you. Take the trap as a whole, place it into the bag, seal it tightly, and then take it to your domestic freezer and freeze it overnight for 12 hours. Then, when you come to check on it the next day, hopefully the hornet should be dead. The Asian hornet is not easily confused with any other species, and there's a wealth of information on our website to help you identify them. There is a list of useful links to these pages in the video description below and information on where to report suspect sightings. It is important to note the location as accurately as possible and please try to obtain a photograph to allow our experts to confirm the identity of the specimen. Please report any sighting immediately to alertnonnative at ceh.ac.uk, the MBU office and your regional bee inspector. We've come to the end of our video now. And remember, if you've enjoyed watching us, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, where we will be posting more videos which you can watch in the future. Until then, get making those traps.